Welcome back to LEGO Wars. Last time we saw Sweepy rip apart King V cubes and Whitehole performing a striptease for Duck. There are also wins for the LEGO and Diabolical Toothpick. Now we move on to the second half of the round of 16 with more wanton destruction there for the taking. Let's introduce the bots. From Newport in Wales, Block Block Dougal. The heaviest robot fighting tonight, Dougal is armed with a flywheel spike to defend Welsh honour. From Cambridge, Brickus. A stealthy looking machine, Brickus has a four bar lift to shovel and control the fights. From Oxford, Good Hits. The only axe bot in tonight's field, Good Hits will be swinging its mighty hammer to batter their foes into submission. From Cambran in Wales, Panic Attack. The second Welsh robot competing tonight, the bright yellow panic attack is armed with some lifting forks to topple the opposition. From Anapaloa in the Netherlands, Petunia. The Dutch crasher of Petunia joins the prey, bringing some continental flair and a peculiar interest in £3 meal deals. From Norwich, the Diddler. One of the most feared robots taking part, the Diddler has a huge vertical disc to rip up the opposition. From Bournemouth, Waddledee. A very erratic machine in testing, Waddledee is armed with a large angled disc for tearing up its victims. From Newry in Northern Ireland, Weldor M. The fastest robot in tonight's field, Weldor M also has an angled spinner to smash up the field. Here's how they line up. The Dutch Crusher of Petunia will fight the camouflaged Weldor M. The stealthy Brickus will take on the goodest of boys and Block Block Dougal. We go horizontal and vertical with the Diddler and Waddle And finally, the sturdy Panic Attack will take on the bludgeoning axe bot of good hits. Let's get stuck in. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. So it's the Dutch Clutch Petunia with the Crusher versus Weldor M from Northern Ireland with that deadly bar spinner. Who's going to get the first attack in? Oh, it's it's Weldor M, and they immediately lose their bar spinner at the first hit. Well, lads, I picked it up, and that's the way you repay me, flipping egg. Now they've been pinned against the corner. They've lost their top panel, and Petunia bringing that crushing core in and getting it stuck into the innards and dragging them back and pressing the pit button. Oh dear, that's painful. Petunia practically gutting the robot. Look at that! Just sinking the beak into the internals. Weldor M seemed to be okay, apart from the missing top panel and the um, the, uh, the missing weaponry. Oh dear, what's Petunia doing? They were climbing. They're not Spider-Man, boys. He's not meant to climb out the arena. Good self-writing though by Petunia, trying to bring that core in again, Weldor M using their wedge because they have no choice now. And that's a good drive by Weldor M actually, and I tell you what, if they kept driving they could have had Petunia down the pit. This has gone from being a very odd clumsy battle to being a very tactical battle out of nowhere. Not really sure! Six. <laughs> or maybe not then. <laughs> Petunia go through. Well, how am I supposed to call that? Look at this. Weldor M's bar spinner falling off straight away, then its top panel came off, Petunia managing to get the claw in and sink it into the internals, which was definitely the most gruesome part of this battle, being 100% honest. That was good tactics actually by Petunia, getting a hold of them and dragging them around, doing some damage to the internals. Then they tried to climb the side wall, not really too sure what they were going for. That was the best attack from Weldor M the entire fight, and then it drove down the pit. Oh dear, Petunia go through. <laughs> While Anderson catches his breath, we move on to the second fight of the night where the powerful Brickus will face off against the unblinking doggo in Block Block Dougal. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. This is the first time we've seen Brickus in action, however we did see Block Block Dougal don't forget in the international special lost to Weld or M in round one. They'll be able to do better this time around with that weird pokey spike thing, which isn't a weapon, let's be honest now. Brickus turning slowly, trying to bring that four bar lifter into things, very similar to Biohazard, I guess you could say, or other four bar lifters as well. 
This one's invertible though, so hasn't got to worry about self-writing. Look how slow the weapon is, that's incredibly slow. That's one of the slowest weapons you've ever seen in LEGO Wars. And I'm just wondering if it's a little bit too slow, because it doesn't seem to be able to get underneath Block Block very well, and it doesn't manage to get the lift in. Block Block going very close to the pit there though, but was able to put on the brakes, and now trying to bring in those uh, little pokey things again. Brickers trudging around, pushing back. Hard to really say who is on top at the minute. Neither has really managed to get an effective attack on one another. Is Block Block okay? They seem to have stopped. That was a good attack by Brickers, pinning them against the side wall. And now using that lifting arm on their head, trying to give them a bit of an uppercut almost. Who's doing the pushing? Who's doing the pulling there out of the two? I think that was all Brickers really, but Puck, Puck, or Block Block able to get away and now Getting underneath the lift, they're trying to get those spikes into the uh, into the innards. Really, it's it's uh, it's not really working well though for them. Being 100% honest, block block though, good aggression from block block, good driving throughout as well. Brickus looks slower of the two so far. It's more of a uh, slow trudging machine, really, isn't it? It's not really a nippy quick pusher, but they've got block block against the side wall, and once again trying to pull the. I think they're trying to pull the head off, if I'm honest. Which, let's be honest, would be a pretty cool trophy. Oh! A piece of block block is on the floor! Now, will that count against them later on in this fight? Is that serious damage, or is it just superficial? I think it's just superficial. It's the uh, sort of padding around the outside of the robot. Makes it look like a bit of a dog, obviously. But that's good driving there by block block, getting around the back of Brickers and slamming them into the side wall, bringing the spikes in. Brickers are able to get away using good control. They seem to be stopping and going a lot here, Brickers. Seems to be struggling from a bit of brick syndrome, perhaps, and he just drove straight into the side. Well, that's not what you want to do. But this is good driving by Block Block, and I tell you what, I, what, I underestimated them. I thought they were going to be going out quite early on here. They didn't last long in uh, the International Special, of course. They fell apart in the International Special, if I'm being 100% honest. But here, they really are coming in on the attacks, getting the good offences in, and Brickers just haven't been able to take advantage of them yet, but that was a good attack there by Brickers, almost getting underneath the side of Block Block, and now doing so, we're in the final 10 seconds, so this may go to the judges, I think Brickers' lift has been a little bit too slow, though there has been some damage done to Block Block, will that be enough to sway for Brickers, or will Block Block's aggression and control be what catch the judges' eyes? Interesting fight, and by interesting I mean a bit tedious at points, it has to be said. Block Block definitely getting the attacks in with those spikes, but not really doing much damage. That was an interesting attack by Brickers trying to take the head off of Block Block, though it didn't really work. Block Block tried to get the stabbing spikes into the internal section, couldn't work. Once again, Brickers trying to get the head off of Block Block, but it didn't work. <laughs> You're noticing a pattern here, aren't you? That was probably one of the more effective attacks on the whole fight, was Block Block pinning them against the sidewall. This is very close. And the winner by unanimous decision is Block Block Dougal. Well done to Block Block Dougal for that upset win. Our next fight will almost certainly not trouble the judges though as we have a spinner showdown between the Diddler and Waddledy. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. So we have two very deadly spinners here, Waddle D, the horizontal spinner, and the Diddler with the vert spinner, and already some damage has been done to the Diddler spinner. Look there, you can see it unbalanced. Oh, goodness me! Damage being caused there to the Diddler straight away, but now they're coming back on, on the attack on to Waddle D. But <laughs> look at the spinner! It's been absolutely wrecked already. Oh, but they've managed to take up one of the wheels out of nowhere! What a sneak attack! Goodness me, it's all happening here. The Diddler, of course, they did well in the International Special. They came third overall, beating good hits in the third and fourth playoff. And now, Waddle Dee, who started the stronger and were definitely on top early on, look at the damage caused, are done for here. They're being counted out. They've only got one wheel left on their wagon. Out of nowhere, the Diddler were able to come back and take that wheel off. That was great driving and great control by them. Look at the Diddler's side! He's just come off all of a sudden! The pit button's been pressed. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, Weldle D. They looked so good! So effective early on, but unfortunately it just was not to be for them. <laughs> Look at the Diddler! There's barely anything left of it, and it's still one! 
hopping around like a Mexican jumping bean. Oh dear! <laughs> and the final Six. strike has been dealt. Well, it was a good start for Waddle D, managing to take out one part of the spinner and the other part, just dismembering it and unbalancing it, and that was a problem for the diddler. Again, more damage being caused there, and again, it looked almost like it was hopeless for the diddler, but then out of nowhere, that wheel there, and it wasn't even the diddler that got rid of it, it came off in its own accord. And then a huge hit there onto the spinner of Waddle Dee, and another one which did more damage to itself yet again, but eventually they decapitated Waddle Dee's spinner. The diddler, go through, just. After that destructive encounter, we move on to our final fight of the night between the bulldozing good hits and the stylish panic attack. Let's see who claims the last spot. Robot ears, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Bit of a rematch here in Series 6 of the classic Robot Wars series. Terahertz beat Panic Attack, so this is uh, Lego Panic Attack versus Good Hit, which is a Lego Terahertz essentially. Bit of a rematch. Will Panic Attack get revenge? It's taking a few hits there from Good Hits, but getting those lifting forks right underneath and into the wheel arch and pulling away an entire side panel of Good Hits. And that's what Panic Attack does best gets its lifting forks into all the little nooks and crannies and manages to get a hold of us and drag them around, but there they just completely pulled it apart almost. And that's definitely going to count towards it as far as damage points are concerned. Down comes Jackson. of good hits and they got bent there, did you see it? It sort of bent under the pressure, I think it's gone back to its normal shape now, but it definitely took some damage there. Can the hammer now do any serious damage to panic attack? It, keeps, it, seems, to, it seems to keep missing almost. And I'm not too sure if he's got the power behind it to do any serious major damage. I mean, it's just sort of tapping them. Good pushing power there by Panic Attack. Able to drive it backwards. Now taking the hits from good hits, though. But good hits, it's not doing much damage, to be honest. There goes the hammer hitting the side. Well, not the side. Well, the floor, sorry. Now into the pit release button. Will the pit go down? It didn't on that attack, nor that one. Down comes the hammer again, though. And damage now being done to the top of Panic Attack. But those lifting forks getting underneath good hits, and they're just gutting them. Look at that! Just completely decimating the side of good hits. Oh, dear, dear me. Oh, well. It's a good laugh, isn't it? Panic Attack now getting underneath once again. Not doing much though, seems to be stuck. And all good hits have to do here is hit the pit button, but they didn't. What were they doing? Why did they hit the pit button? They had every chance to do it. Down comes the hammer again though of good hits. And now definitely more damage being done to the top of Panic Attack. You can see a hole now. More like a gaping chasm, really. Being knocked into the top of it, but those lifting forks coming back in, getting underneath the proper area once again and to managing to control them. Panic Attack winning on control, could well go to the judges this one. I'd say Panic Attack winning all three criteria at the moment. Maybe good hits now showing some more aggression and maybe could do get some more damage points as well because look at the top of Panic Attack now, there's a huge hole on the top of it. A great big ravine cleaved into the top of it for goodness sakes. And good hits are coming back strongly here but the early damage and the early control problems I think will be an issue if it does go to the judges and it could well do so here at this rate. Down comes the hammer again, but the hammer bending once again there on that attack. Down it comes again. Panic Attack trying desperately to get underneath him once again and it is going to go to the judges at this rate. Panic Attack with another good lift and attack here at the very end of the fight. Will that be Six. enough? I'm not too sure. It's going to go to the judges. And they're going to have a tough fight here to judge because that was very, very close. Good hits hanging onto the sidewall at the very end. Oh, got to get my breath back. That was a good fight. Look at this. For early attack from Panic Attack. Able to get underneath good hits and just plucking them up. No problem. Getting lifting forks in on the wheel arch. And that's where the first bit of damage was done. Down came the axle once again. And that's where the first bit of damage was done to Panic Attack. Courtesy of the hammer of good hits. Good attack here by Panic Attack, showing good aggression and control, getting them in the sidewall, but good damage points there scored by good hits. Very, very close. I think Panic Attack had the more effective attacks with his weaponry, it must be said. 
but I'm not too sure how that will convince the judges. This is very, very close, you know. And the winner by unanimous decision is Panic Attack. Congratulations to Panic Attack on claiming the last spot in the next round alongside Petunia, Block Block Dougal and the Diddler. That's all we have for tonight, but next time the action hots up as we enter the quarterfinals. For now though, I've been your host David of Smeg and we'll see you in the next one. Sakes, David, what are you doing to me, man? Oh, I'm going to leave that in for him as well so he can hear me suffer through this. <laughs>